So this is the JJB Electronics uh, Elite 430 system, which I uh, just got and going to put in this here, Taylor Mini GS, GS Mini. Okay, so uh, comes with everything here. Uh, this is, of course, the end pin jack, and then these two are, I'm assuming this one's volume, or this one's tone, this one's volume. I'm not sure yet, and I don't really have a preference as to which one goes where. Uh, I'm going to mount them here somewhere. Um, at first, I wasn't sure about the knobs, uh, and actually these are different from what uh, I could see on the, the website. Um, the ones on the website are a little higher, and these are a little bit more low profile. They're not like the E... ES system with the Taylor, um, you know, the higher end models come with. And I really like that low profile look. And I was trying to research and figure out a way to make these more low profile. Um, I don't know that I'm going to come up with a viable solution. So uh, I do have these knobs, which came with the art preamp, and they're these are the JJB knobs and then this is the art preamp so they're these are a little smaller in general but they have a flatted uh, shaft style and these are let me get the other one because sorry for the camera work these are uh, just a regular round shaft and they are a uh, set screw, which you can see right there. It's like a hex um, set screw. I think it's a 5 uh size. And so, um, and then you can see the shafts there. And like I said, I tried to find out um, just by looking on the website and some of the other people that put these into their guitars. And I thought these were going to be the split shaft, knurled type shafts on the uh, pots. But... Uh, so that's what they are, and anyway, uh, and then one other thing to point out, the uh, the washers that um, screw down on top of the pots, I took this one off, and the other one, I don't know what I did with it, um, but anyway, um, if you can see where, it, okay, here we go, um, that I took off and I'm trying to get an idea of if it, I don't know if it'll focus but whether or not it'll actually be totally recessed inside the knob and I couldn't get it that way but I pushed it and I can probably ream out the plastic a little bit so where it'll actually go all the way down flush onto the guitar so that you know it'll look like pardon the light and oh this is bad um but here, for lack of a better way to do it. I wanted to go, you know, flat on the wood over here. And I really don't want the uh, the washer to show. So hopefully uh, with this being the case, you know, it'll be flush. And I just want it to be as low profile as possible uh, up here. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I uh, took some of the plastic out of this knob, and now the uh, this is the nut, not the washer, as I said before. But uh, now it will go inside there and turn freely, so that when the uh, when the nut is set down on the top of the guitar and it screws down onto the potentiometer, uh, this will go on top of it, flush with the wood of the guitar and you won't be able to see the nut um, that's the plan anyway I just took a razor and kind of scraped off around the sides it's probably not the easiest way uh, I don't have a Dremel tool or anything but it worked so and it's all scratched up now but I don't really care because you're not gonna see it that's right I'm doing a little external test here I got a little PA set up there it is you can hear it buzzing it's old PV. Anyway, uh, you can tell these are microphonic. I just have them laying on top of the guitar. 
and I uh, can't really do this with one hand, but I figured out that this is the volume because if I, uh, here, I got nothing now, and this is the tone by process of elimination. All right, so uh, just testing it out. They weren't labeled, so there you go. Still going with this. Um, I uh, took the end pin off of the Taylor G uh, GS Mini, and um, I don't have it with me right now, but you can see that, and I knew this was the case. It's got this uh, spot where the uh, jack went that I'm going to have to cover up with some kind of washer, and I need to uh, still get that. Uh, I just fed the jack through. I didn't use any kind of string or guide or anything. I just did it. So, and I figured out the spacing I needed. Um, so I need to get that washer and uh, get that set. So, keep going. Got my little bridge plate set up. Just a piece of cardboard. And uh, a lot of guys, I guess, online I looked at use uh, golf tees. But I don't have any handies, so... I used toothpicks, one I thought might be too flimsy and not, you know, have a little bit of slop. So I used two and I just taped them together and like so. And then drew a line where the bridge is, the actual the saddle. So I'm going to glue the pin, the uh, transducers on there. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to go this way with the the wires going this way or this way and I think I'm gonna put the high E string as if I can like right under the string because I've read that you know that one puts out the least amount of output so to sort of balance it uh, put that one directly under the high E string so we'll see this is the washer I got for the end it, and I don't know exactly what size it is um, a guy online said uh, 25 millimeters outer diameter, 10 millimeters inside, and 1.5 thick. Uh, I think this is a metric one. I went through a few and uh, tried to figure out um, what to get, and this one seems to work. But you'll notice um, there's two there's two thicknesses with the threads on this jack. This front part's a little smaller, and then as you get right there, they get bigger. Um, and luckily this one is big enough to go over the larger size threads um, which is a good thing because I need this to come out a little further than I thought um, because this is supposed to be uh, flush pretty much flush with the threads or the threads sticking out a little bit at least that's what JJB says on their website I got these suckers stuck down I bought this blue putty stuff and it was either that or double sided tape and the tape was more expensive I saw some people use this saw some use a double sided tape uh, I'm hoping this will just keep these on here long enough for me to uh, insert it in um, I decided to keep the wires going this way because I just don't think I can glue it and shove all this wire in there and get it in where the wire is going this way. Uh, hopefully it'll be out of the way of the sound hole and I can, you know, the pickup system came with some clips so I'll just stick those along the edge of the side of the guitar and hopefully that'll work. Um, so I'm going to practice, you know, taking this and making sure I can get these toothpicks up in the um, bridge pin holes like I need to because um, I don't want to screw that up so she's in there part of the uh, Clinique makeup box but it's the only small mirror thing I could find it's my wife's okay it's uh, I hope I really hope everything's good um, I'm sort of hesitant to pull off the cardboard too fast because I don't want those things to come off uh, there it is the cardboard came off pretty well. Uh, the putty's still on there, but doesn't bother me. 
All right, the scariest part is over. I drilled my holes. Obviously, I had masking tape. I would recommend it for sure, uh, so you don't get any splintering. Um, ideally, I guess you should use like a spade or a paddle bit. Uh, just use a standard drill bit. For mine, uh, it's a quarter of an inch, and I'm gonna put. Uh, the idea is to have the uh, the threads of the pot on the inside of the guitar to have them as low profile as possible, uh, since there won't be any security as far as rotation. That's why I have this bar. It's just a piece of aluminum, and it's going to tie these together so that when I turn one, the other one won't. Uh, it'll kind of secure it into place, and uh, the potentiometer itself won't turn with it because that's obviously not ideal. I'm a little worried about this whole portion going in there. Um, I, I didn't want to do this, but I just did this with a little wire tie. And these are pretty tight. I'm just afraid some of the wiring is going to come loose or get strained too hard. Alright, everything's done. I uh, just took this off so I could videotape, but that's what the, the knob looks like. And the whole reason the, I had the threads inside was I could, of course, go the low profile route. Right now, it wouldn't have made a difference either way, because like I said at the beginning of the video, the nut would go, it would recess inside of this. So even if the nut was on top, these um, should have been flush with the guitar like they are now. But what I'm going to try to do is um, is just take off the little skirt of this knob and make it even more low profile than it is now. Um, I'm hoping I can do that with a uh, machine at work. One of the di most difficult parts of doing this for me was, and I can't really show you, but just getting the wiring in. I had these little clips to, uh, you know, the to basically you take off the back and there's adhesive and you stick them to the inside of the side of the guitar but um, the the wiring from the end jack uh, it was all, it's all connected of course so you got the transducers, the, the end jack and then you got the tone and volume pots um, it's because this guitar is pretty small um, I don't know if that's the reason or if it's always like this but I have sort of an excess amount of wire and I really didn't want any wires touching the top or bottom, especially the top, because that's supposed to be where all the resonation comes from. Uh, right now, I've got one of the wires touching the bottom of the guitar just because I don't know what else to do with it. Uh, you know, I have to like curl it up on itself and tie it together somehow. I don't know, it's just the way it is for now. The knobs are cool again. I'm not a huge fan of the cream on the knobs and the white binding. Which, if you know anything about the GS Mini, it doesn't have binding. Uh, so there, I'll probably make another video about how this came to be and what it is. Last little bit of info here. Alright, the skirts that were on the knobs uh, that you saw before are not there anymore. A friend of mine at work, Mr. Mike, he helped me get those off. And uh, you can tell that, well, we were talking about originally... Uh, just grinding them off but he actually um, he put a groove in there around and just took it took the whole thing straight off obviously because if they were ground off it would just be powder <laughs> but uh so they're not there anymore I did put a a little bit of felt and I got that right here 11 cents at Walmart for all that jazz which I don't need at all <laughs> I just needed a little bit um, but uh, put the felt underneath just so it wouldn't scratch up the wood and you know there's a little bit of spacing in there that you can see so I just think it makes it look a little cleaner I have a little bit of play uh, I don't know if you can tell there you go see but I don't mind it and it uh, definitely doesn't you know jiggle around if I hold the guitar or move it I think it looks pretty good overall um, let see if I can focus. Yeah, alright. Well, either way, there it is, the finished product. 